lot of people make the mistake of looking to their external world to give them the permission to feel these things. It's the other way around. Happy Saturday, happy spiritual Saturday. Welcome to another vlog. My name is Andrea Johnson, I'm a Reiki master teacher, energy worker, spiritual lifestyle content maker. And today we are making spiritual lifestyle content. <laughs> so I thought I would take you guys along with me a weekend in the life. We have some fun things planned this weekend. Um, I have to go into this spiritual wellness shop today. I have a few readings to do, so thought it would be really cool to show you guys around the Ozark area. Just a weekend in my life, a magical weekend in my life. Sending you guys all the good vibes. So I'm gonna get ready right now. I made myself some tea. I did my morning workout. I feel good. And we are going to do a water meditation in the shower, cleanse our energy, and get ready to go to the shop. So. Let's go. I just can't. did a few readings for some people um and i do that every once in a while i if i don't have like sessions already scheduled i'll try to maybe do some online readings some online chakra readings stuff like that and that's what i did and then i ended up getting a session so it's kind of like the energy i put out i got back so um i just finished up my session went beautifully beautifully she had such a good experience i'm so glad her first time experiencing the energy she felt it in her body saw colors um yeah she it was just a really good experience so i love it, it lights me up so much so but um anyway i have nothing else scheduled the rest of the day so i'm probably gonna go <laughs> i'm gonna go um, out in the shop and then just mingle with some customers and just see what kind of spiritual conversations i can have with people so that's pretty much a day here um I, every day is different i definitely get what i need and i give what other you know people need so that's just kind of how it works so anyway what's up guys i am back at home now um we've been home for a little bit i've actually been working on some editing and just having a little bit of downtime. Um, I've been responding to clients and things like that. So I'm about to cut it off because that's really, really important. Austin's out in the garage. So my attention's really not on him yet. When we start cooking dinner, our Saturday nights are our date night. So we went to the grocery store and we got you know stuff to prep dinner or make dinner. And when we start making dinner is when I cut off my responses to clients or just social media or I'm editing or anything like that, I stop it. And my attention goes to him and we spend time together. It's really, really important when you're trying to balance out your time, when you're trying to balance out a corporate job and a, a passion, you have to really 
find balance between the two, otherwise you're gonna burn out. So really what I wanted to kind of mention was, you know, I told you guys today that I didn't really have a session planned. I was just showing up. I had a few readings and I do readings for free, guys. Um, when I don't have sessions, I either try to make my time productive there, I read for other people in the shop, or I read for like people online. So when I showed you guys my little setup, I was actually doing some online like customers or like clients. I had some online clients and I was just reading for them just to actually just read because I very much enjoy it. And that's kind of my point that I wanted to get at today with this kind of work too. And just with anything um, is sometimes, you know, your service and I always, I always, say this when I wake up um, and I actually made a post about it today I always ask how may I be of service today how may I show up for others today how may I be a clear channel for light and love today for God universal energy to come through into this reality today for others and you know sometimes that doesn't always look like I have a schedule full of Reiki sessions or you know energy work sessions or psychic sessions and that's okay it wasn't meant to happen sometimes it's me showing up and just reading for other people and i don't get paid for it but that's okay sometimes it's me going and helping people pick out crystals for the day sometimes it's just me showing up and just existing you know so we never really should tie expectations to what you know it looks like I think that's where a lot of people get defeated in their business is that when they don't have the paid work coming in because we always tie kind of worthiness in these things with abundance or we tie abundance to money rather than to a feeling. So I like to think of it as almost like a universal energy bank of I'm giving away a feel, I'm not giving away a feeling, but I'm creating a feeling. And even though I'm not getting money in return for it, I feel abundant. I feel happy. I feel grateful. I feel like I'm making a difference in the world and that's enough for me. And that was my intention today. That was the reason why I did the readings. Uh, I wasn't down and depressive or just kind of like negative about myself because I didn't have a full, you know, full lineup of sessions. Um, that was just how I, was, how I was supposed to show up today in the world. And when I did that and, you know, I created that frequency within me of abundance and happiness and gratefulness and I just loved what I was doing, I ended up getting an unplanned session that actually paid me. And that's the way I look at these things. And that's kind of the universal bank of energy almost. You don't realize the amount of energy you put forth into something that creation of the feeling you make within yourself you're actually kind of putting it in this bank and even though you don't see it in the physical realm just yet it's adding up and it's having faith within it right so that's just kind of how it happened for me today now had i not gotten that session i wouldn't have really cared but you know i had a great experience with it i gained a client i guess you could say she had a wonderful experience um, and it made me happy. So that's just kind of how my perspective is on these things. You don't really understand the power of your intention and your action when they are combined with a love feeling or emotion. Um, it's very powerful. And even if you're not seeing it in your external world, you know, one of my favorite sayings is believing is seeing. So you have to feel it on the internal side before you can actually see it in your external world where a lot of people make the mistake of looking to their external world to give them the permission to feel these things. It's the other way around. So anyway, just my perspective on this. But now I'm gonna go downstairs, it's date night. We're gonna cook up something we're gonna chill the rest of the evening, so I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow.
guys what is up good morning happy sunday sunday fun day i got up early this morning and hit a quick workout just to get some miles in feel good get my blood moving get warmed up because we are going hiking today we are going to arkansas and i'm super excited i've never been to this place before or this trail that we're going to so i'm excited to take you guys with me excited to show you the ozark area it is so beautiful it's a beautiful spring day I am just super, super thrilled. Um, I love, love Arkansas. It is one of the prettiest places that I have ever seen. Would love to live there one day, but we're manifesting that. So, throwing out those to the universe. Anyway, um, so yeah, I need to go home, get ready, get my backpack packed, and do all the things to get prepared for today. So, anyway, let's get going. did not close out the vlog so I'm gonna do that now um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video this little weekend in my life in the Ozarks it was a lot of fun I love making these they're a little bit different than what I normally go after so if you guys like seeing this side of it all let me know um, drop in the comments below and I'll continue making them so I will catch you guys in the next one sending you all of my light and all my love 